Hello my YouTube friends, welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit structure. In this lesson, I just want to show you what you can use to create the load combinations in Revit. This is Revit 2026.1. Now you have the possibility to create the load combinations automatically. In the previous versions, it's not possible. So see how Revit, you know, has been upgraded for you to be able to create those load combinations within Revit. All right. So now if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please make sure that you like my video, subscribe to my channel, and don't turn on the bell notification. Most importantly, check my website skillmaxcard.com where you can learn, you know, so many courses. There are some detailed courses there in Revit architecture, Revit structure, and robot structure analysis. So I'll get started here. And for you to create the load combinations automatically now within Revit using the code of your choice. All you need to do is to simply go to analyze just click on analyze right there right now within the structural analytical model here there's an arrow there just click on it and now you see you have the load cases and combinations i'll just click on it right so once you click on it this is what you'll be presented with okay now if you just go to region or country from here you can just click the arrow you can click, you can pick the region or the country where you are or the region that you want to use. As an example, and also to demonstrate here, I'm just going to use Great Britain. You see that you have South Africa, Romania, Portugal. We also have Great Britain, Netherlands, and so many, including the USA. So you can pick the region of your choice. For me, I'm just going to pick Great Britain, right? Once you pick the, the region or the country, now you can pick the design code from here. Okay, so what you are going to see here will be dependent on the country that you have selected. So for Great Britain now, I have, okay, the codes there, and I'm just going to pick, okay, BS8110, you can pick your code if you want. Okay, actually this is BS, all right, so I'll just pick BS8110. Now from here, under the load cases, you can add a load case, you can also remove a load case. For example, if I don't want, this is just an example, if I don't need seismic, I can remove it, okay? If I want to add maybe seismic, just click on add, then maybe here, you can rename it here to the, maybe to seismic, right? So I'll just, uh, just type S for seismic and now, under the nature from there, you can click and now pick the seismic right here. Okay, I was there by trying to check the spelling for seismic. So, all right. So that is how you do it. Now you can see that we have an error there. So you can just go to this one and now pick maybe to just be live. Okay. This is live maybe you can pick and you can change so each time you click there you are able to pick what you want from here that is the nature and you can also add the the actual name for the load case there okay so once you do that see that i've selected the country i've picked the code that i want to use then i configure the load cases here now you just need to come down here you see that we don't have any load combination here now in Revit 2026.1, okay, this is only available in Revit 2026.1 and also higher versions as we keep on going in future. You see that I can add, you know, a combination here automatic, uh, uh, by clicking on add. If I click there, I can now configure the combination manually there, but I don't want to use manual. I'll select on it and remove it. I just want to create an automatic, an automatic load combination by just clicking there and you see that we have automate load combinations i'll just click on okay and see that it's loading the combination and you just need to give it a bit of time okay as you can see from here now one thing i never mentioned sorry i missed that make sure that you select the load cases which you want to be you know to include in the load combination if you don't pick any load cases there okay then the combination is not to be created. So make sure that you can select everything by clicking the first box there, or you can pick the, the load cases that you want to include in the, in the combinations there. So we have it here, and you can see that 
we have the ultimate limit state if i just go down we have the serviceability limit state the accidental and all these combinations according to the bs standard which is bs8110 all right and the combinations that will be generated here will be according to the code depending on what you've picked there the country and the design code so now we can load this so you can select what you want to load if you just want to load maybe a few of them you can that is a goodness if you just want to select everything you can just click the first box there check it and now you see that everything selected and click on add to table you can see that all the combinations have been added here and this is how you create the combination it's so fast and you can do it automatically now you just need to click on okay and now you can export this if you want to design for example robo structure analysis or indeed any other uh, structure analysis software you can take the combinations there and just continue there now design analyzing and designing now the other thing that i want to mention what has been added in revit 2026.1 now is also the analytical you see the workflow for the analytical model here now you don't have to go to dynamo so if you want to generate the analytical model for this structure here this is what you do so to show you that we don't have the analytical model here i'm just going to go to 3d view right there so i'll select on this one right click and just duplicate okay duplicate there all right so this one i'll click there i'll click once again and i'll just call it analytical All right click outside now this model is just from the default projects once you just install every 2026 you have this default project so that's the one we're using for demonstration so i've just uh, duplicated this one so i'm just calling it where is it now where has it jumped it's called analytical ah i've lost it analytical right here okay oh this is the first one so now if I just go to VG, visibility graphics by typing VG on your keyboard, then just go to model categories. I'll just deactivate this one. Then analytical model categories is activated. All right. Then if I just click on apply, okay, you see that there's nothing here because we don't have an analytical model. So I'll just go back to VG by typing VG on your keyboard. I'll turn on the physical elements, also the analytical elements just click on apply okay i wanted just to show you that we don't have the analytical now to create the analytical model using revit 226.1 all you need to do see that we have the analyze there and now if i just go to analytical automation i'll click there now we have these options here run physical to analytical for buildings run analytical to physical and also uh automation customization now we are going to use the first option if i just click on it okay right let me cancel first of all all right so let me first of all select actually make sure that you select it then analyze click there and run physical to analytical okay so make sure that you select it now you are going to have these options here all right so the first one is align if i just click there i can align now the analytical you know elements there to the levels and also in plan so if i just click to levels you see that it will give you options on how to align and also the you know the limits of how what you want to uh, to align so let's give it a bit of time so you can see that i uh, i said the limits but the tolerances level tolerances so that maybe to the floors within this one okay a unit it will align there also for the beams for the columns and walls that is the the level of tolerance you can change these things from here all right you can also align also in plan if you want so once you counter check the options there then just click on run as i said make sure that this is selected and click on run you see that it will run from here so it will just take a moment and you know in the previous versions usually you'd go to dynamo here but this is an improvement you don't have to go there everything will be in revit and you are going to create your analytical you know model so as you can see it's computing everything here and uh, let's give it a bit of time okay so it's done as you can see from here and in the background we can see the analytical model now we just have to go to vg with bit graphics then i'll just turn off the model categories and just you know leave the analytical categories apply okay 
and here we are as you can see we have our analytical model right there and if i just go maybe to front here you can see that it's proper, properly aligned to the levels as you can see from here and it has obviously picked up the tolerances that we specified as you can see from here so this is the easiest way of creating your analytical model in revit and it will align as per the tolerances that you specified so i can go to this level this this view you can see that everything looks okay so the other thing that i want to mention if i just click there i think there's also this option automation customization this is also in revit 2026 before that update the point one so if i just click there okay so now this one takes you to analytical autom automation this is dynamo okay so this is what you are going to see like in the previous versions but if you are using point one 26.1 you just need to use either this or in that one and you can do whatever i want to do so thank you very much for watching if you like what i'm doing on this channel please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel